how OnlyFans should die. What's up guys, Destructor here, and today, guys, that's the video, it's on OnlyFans, it needs to be banned, because if there's one part of the internet that is a complete plague and complete nuisance to society, it's fucking OnlyFans, and I'm gonna get into it. Let's start with the fact that all these bitches are so ungrateful, holy crap, honestly, I you can't find one OnlyFans creator who's grateful for all their little fans who are paying for their, like, at best, Instagram quality photos with maybe a little bit of extra nude because Instagram doesn't allow that shit. That's really what it is. But no. So we have this example right here. Ruby Rose, some random influencer skank. Never heard of this broad, really, until like I saw this shit on Twitter. So she ran she ran into her, like, number one fan, basically, who spent, I shit you not, 60k something dollars. Like, 60k plus dollars? This motherfucker's down bad. And you when you look at this guy... Like, as you see, this motherfucker looks like a fucking neckbeard. This g and this broad doesn't really give a shit. It's like, if I had a only, like, fans person, like, if I had a fan, right, pretty much giving me, like, 60k plus dollars, like, spending in total and shit like that, I would probably be like, hey, you know what? Spend some time together for a little bit. Like, it doesn't have to be anything too crazy. But, like, I would be like, hey, I want to spend some time with you. You've been really, you know, like, spending a lot of money on me. I'm really grateful for that. Like, something like that, you know, to show a nice gesture back, because this is the most one-sided garbage in the world, because this is, like, pretty much why OnlyFans needs to be banned. It is nothing but just killing men, okay? This is, like, probably one of the biggest, like, killers of, like, masculinity, and this is why we're seeing, like, these red pill influencer retards have any, like, relevance whatsoever. It's because of shit like this, okay? When you see OnlyFans, like, oh my god, it's insane. And you know what makes this even worse? This entitlement for doing nothing. These OnlyFans creators, what exactly is their talent? All they do is just show some nudes or just do, like, lewd, like, modeling pics. That's literally what all these OnlyFans creators are. This is fucking dog shit. And how is this, like, acceptable is beyond me. It's one thing to post, like, you know, little photos on Instagram or some shit or do, like, an actual modeling gig. Well, that's one thing. But, like, OnlyFans... It's like, take those concepts, but, like, put it on OnlyFans behind a paywall. It's like, first of all, I mean, people are just going to leak these pics elsewhere, so it's a waste of fucking time. But second of all, when it comes to OnlyFans and all these knockoff sites, it's like, you're basically just doing nothing. You're showing off your body because, ooh, wow, we get to see your nipples or your pussy. Wow, such great talent. Look at this crap right here. You have, like, Amaranth, a great example of... How not to treat your fans in a nutshell. Yeah. This is my Comic-Con one. A Comic-Con? I'm, I'm very su surprised that it fit perfectly in the dimensions, because I just, like, eyeballed it. I Yo, like, nailed it. Nailed it. Ow. Show banner? Okay. Ooh, that, that stinks, Rance. Yeah, that stinks. <laughs> That's the bottom of it, social media, Catwoman, Silk, Booty, Spider Queen. Damn, chat's being mean to you. Oh, I don't care. I'm a mod. I don't give a shit what they say. He's used to chat being mean. Yeah, what an ungrateful bitch. And honestly, if we just ban OnlyFans and just get rid of this shit for good and all their, like, knockoff fucking sites... It'll force these fucking dudes to actually go outside and do something. Like, get, like, these fucking, like, fat, simp-ass, neck-bearded, like, skinny dweebs that get shoved in the lockers. It'll force them to do something. And if they don't do anything, they'll just probably go to Pornhub or some shit or go to Reddit or wherever the fuck. But there's a decent chance that these motherfuckers will be forced to do something else with their lives instead of 
giving away like a shit ton of money, probably using their parents' credit card because these motherfuckers don't have jobs, to a bunch of like mid ass skanks for no fucking reason. Because for some reason, we need to be feeling empowered. Because this is what women's empowerment's all about. Showing off your body in, like, lewd fucking, like, positions and shit because you got no other fucking talent. And it's actually a fucking joke. But, hey, I'm not surprised with these fucking brain-dead retards and their defenders. Because they will defend this garbage for whatever fucking reason. But we really need to, like, get these motherfuckers to go outside, touch grass, touch snow, fucking whatever time of the season it is. You gotta go outside and, like, smell that beautiful fresh air. Unless you live in New York or California, then there's no fresh air. But hey, it's still better air than fucking, like, spending all day in your, sh like, shitty, like, basement paying for OnlyFans chicks. And that is the guaranteed fucking truth. Let's just spit some facts here. Um, It's never done any good for the world. Name me one thing OnlyFans has done good for the world. Like, honestly, these OnlyFans creators, they never done shit for the world. Like, if you saying that, like, oh, them just, like, showing off their body is good for the world or some shit, you're a fucking degenerate loser. Like, I get it. If y'all want some fucking pussy or dick, depending on what you like, because there probably is dudes out there, but this is about the broads, let's just be honest there. Like, y'all want pussy, I get that. It's a thing called go to the fucking bar or some shit, or go to the gym, or go to a public place, like a concert, a sporting event, anywhere, or just walking around, you might find someone, it's not hard, because you guys are all sad, lonely, fucking, like, virgins for lies, who have no lies, have no social interactions, or just a desire for it, but so you use this OnlyFans shit as a coping mechanism, which is fucking stupid, like, we need to ban this shit so you guys can actually get real mental health, because as long as OnlyFans is around, man is gonna spy out of control with a bunch of other shit going against it, but that's the size of the point. It's never done any good for the world, and it will never, ever do any good at all. Let's just be honest here, people. Life would be better if it was gone. Let's just be honest here. Like, life would be so much fucking better. For all this shit that we bitch and moan about, like, fucking the Western world and shit, because fucking a lot of people want to, like, be sympathetic towards, like, Middle Eastern countries and their li way of life for some fucking weird reason, but regardless... For all that shit we complain about, we have the most freedom we can do what we want. But if we just get rid of this, we will actually start getting our shit together. Because this OnlyFans shit, it's like that, like, relative. It's like that uncle who has an alcohol problem. So long as he doesn't drink any alcohol, he's, you know, relatively respectable and he's, like, a stand-up guy. But once he starts touching the alcohol, that's when he goes to shit. This metaphor is for, like, OnlyFans. As so long as dudes don't really, like, waste their time on OnlyFans, Things will be fine. That dude will be, you know, somewhat respectable, will be a normal guy, like, pretty chill to hang out with. Once he gets to OnlyFans, now nah, he completely falls apart. It's a literal cancer that you just fall apart. Banning this OnlyFans shit will be a fucking benefit for men so they can actually, like, do something with their lives or some shit. Will they actually do anything? Who the fuck knows? But at least it'll be something. Life will be much better if it's gone. And I gotta spill the truth about OnlyFans, motherfuckers, but OnlyFans is literally nothing but just, like, more thirst trap Instagram posts with maybe some, like, slight nudity here and there, or full-on nudes if, you're, if they actually want to be that much of a fucking porno whore. If they want to be, like, a complete whore, you might get what OnlyFans is supposed to be, but most of the time it's, like... Very lewd, like, very, like, extreme cleavage bullshit. It's not really anything, like, that impressive. It's shit that you can get on Instagram for free. And it's actually a little more classy. Which is insane a lot, because Instagram has its own problems. But, hey, it's at least not OnlyFans. You can actually get it for free. But that's literally what OnlyFans is. It's just Instagram with, like, some nudes here and there. How the fuck does these bitches make millions upon millions of dollars... From, like, lonely-ass fucking, like, men who had nothing else better to do. It's fucking insane that these retards actually pay for this shit. And all it does, it just, it's so easy to fucking do. It takes zero fucking talent to do OnlyFans. All you have to do is be in certain positions, like, bending your fucking ass over or some shit. Be on your hands and knees where you probably belong, to be honest. Get ready to suck dick, because that's all you're good for, you OnlyFans slut. But still, like, it's so fucking easy to do. Like, you literally, any fucking, like, like mid-ass hoe can do it. Literally, you can be the most mid-ass looking broad, and you can get away with doing this crap. 
And how dudes date OnlyFans chicks is beyond me. Like that little fucking dweeb neon. Like how the fuck do you date an OnlyFans girl? You're fucking down bad, my guy. But regardless, it literally takes no fucking effort whatsoever fucking to do. Oh, you're taking your clothes out. Wow, bravo. Brow fucking O. Oh, you want a medal for that, you fucking asshole? Yeah, no, go fuck yourself, honestly. There's no fucking talent, so banning this shit, we can actually get rid of this entitlement garbage. So these broads actually have to do a thing called actual skills. Because, let's be honest here, this is like an easy chico for a lot of these dumb broads. Because they don't actually want to put the work in and, you know, buy and like they don't want to buy into this bullshit propaganda that the feminist has fucking like brought into these days they don't want to actually commit to doing that because if they actually did they know they won't be as good so only fans is their fucking like easy way out which is fucking sad honestly i have to ask this question for like my fans or just anyone in general why the fuck does only fans exist why in the actual like titty fuck does like pussy only fans exist i can't fucking fathom my head why this garbage exists what sex work first of all that's not even real work but if you want to say it's work like really you can just go ahead and be a hooker or a prostitute or some shit and fuck people casually yeah it's not glamorous but fuck at least you're being upfront honest about your work this only fan shit is just like it's the most sad like pg-13 sex work shit if you buy into that crap that's literally what it fucking is it's just corny shit i don't know why this crap exists I'm starting a fucking war with OnlyFans. Any OnlyFans girl or fucking people defend that shit, you are the enemy. Hashtag ban OnlyFans. Fuck all you losers. You guys are a bunch of dorks. Go outside. Get a fucking life. So I'm out. Enjoy this video. Take care of the course. God bless you all. And fuck OnlyFans.